Welcome to Gaming with a Scottish Accent. I'm Dal Danto, and this is Ark Survival Evolved. How you doing, guys? We're back. We are going to get one of these Dim Dimetrodons tamed. The other one got away. I logged out, logged back in. It was nowhere to be seen. So today we have got... I did. I got another level 12, I think it was. Nothing high. We need buttloads of narcotics. Unless they've patched it, I have no idea. So we're going to grab all these <laughs> narcotics. We're going to grab some meat. And we're going to get it tamed. So I'll get down there and I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, we're back. And here it is. <laughs> we trapped one in here. So we need to knock this thing out. How we're going to... I mean... Hopefully they've changed something. It's, they've had a few updates since last... Last I seen yet, so hopefully they do something. Can we shoot you through this? Did we get yet? Oh, we got the wood. We got the wood. Oh, it's not going to glitch through, is it? Right, let's just go back around here then. And hopefully we can just keep shooting you. Oh, you knocked down already? No. No, no, you are not. <laughs> so, wow. Let's just keep knocking at this guy. We need to grab some meat as well. Ah, right. This could be a thing. Come here. We'll just keep shooting it and hopefully, I mean, that was ridiculous, the torpor decrease that was happening in the last game. I'm still in shock about that, but today we've got another few things to try out as well. We've got the beer, and we're definitely going to check out the dung beetles as well. That's what I'm looking forward to. Speak in the face. And it's like, it's went out a lot easier. It has went out a hell of a lot easier. The torpor is still belting down though, look at that, look at it go. I mean, what the crap is going on? We're going to have to r rattle a load into this. I'm going to put 50 because the, the effect keeps going, I believe. If we can rattle enough in, hopefully it will help. I mean, why would they make it so hard? The torpor going up and down at the same time, kind of. So we just need to basically keep pumping pumping uh, narcotics into this dude. Let's go grab... I wonder if I've got any prime. I don't think I have. That's That sucks. Uh, let's. We need to go up to... We'll check Rex then. We'll take Night... Rex? Rex is my old Rex. Check Nightmare. See what we've got. We've got any prime on you? No, it's, it's all spoiled. Right, let's grab some meat. Did, did not be enough. If we just run down. Hopefully he's not woken up. We'll get them fed and hopefully get them tamed up. I mean, this is... Let me gamma down because it's getting a bit bright now. That's much better. The torpor level's still going up. I mean, I just want to babysit this guy. I mean, basically, when it starts going down again... There we go. Oh, it's still going up now. It's still going up. His food's going down. I think... Um, we just need to keep an... Oh, is that going back down? No, it's still going up. We pumped 50 into him, so it should, it should still go up for a while, but it, it just, the, the rate that it goes down is unreal. I mean, how are you supposed to keep up with that? He's going to need a good four or five feeds as well, so I'm just going to babysit this guy. We're going to get him tamed up. We're, we're getting one tamed up, even if I have to keep knocking him out and knocking him out. See, there's a topper going back down, and look how fast it goes. I mean, what the absolute crap. Let's bang another 20 into him. Now you see it's still going up and it should maintain going up. But we'll keep, we'll keep it at, well I'll keep it at, you guys can keep watching. And uh, hopefully we'll get them tamed up guys. So I'll get you back once we've got them. See you in a bit. Oh, free water. Hi hey guys, we're back in the delightful fog. I've just noticed something. The more narcotics you seem to pump into this guy, the faster it goes down. What the absolute hell? I mean, we've put 50 plus 30 plus 20. That's 100 narcos and narcotics in there now. We, I'm going to finish this stack just so we can hopefully keep them out enough just to get them tamed up. I mean, this is ridiculous. 
two hard teams we're going to have today because the, the Dung Beetle is a passive team with Pooh apparently and if you've ever seen me try and tame a, a, a Gigantopithecus you know that I am absolutely disgraceful at doing this. Let's put the meat on him. He's it son. I mean the taming meter's going up quick enough. His hunger doesn't seem to be going down either. Let's keep a little eye on it. See look, look how quick it's going down. Look at that. Remote one. We're just gonna do one at a time, I think. So I think we're just gonna to have to babysit here. We're gonna to to sit and add one, let it go down. Add one, let it go down. It's gonna be a long process, guys, but we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you back and let you let's see that that how fast it's going down with it seems to be the more you put in, the quicker it goes down. Let's add in another few. Right, bye anyway guys, I'll see you in a bit. Back guys. We're on take three. Another one died. That one died. It woke up and then died when I tried to get it back asleep. So let's knock out this one and I will... Oh, the crap that nearly got to me. And we'll get it tamed up. We'll definitely get it tamed up this time. I'd spent about 400 narcotics on that level 12 and it was only about halfway tamed. <laughs> it shows you just holy crap how much it takes to tame tame these things. But we're going to get it. We'll get it. I've got 400 narcotics on me. So hopefully that'll take it. There it goes. It's out. Right. Right, so basic thing. Get the narco, get the meat on it. Get the narco on it. And wait for it to tame. I mean, look at the torpor drop. It's ridiculous. We're just going to have to sit and babysit. It's oh, crap in heck. Right, guys. Anyway, we'll get this guy tamed. I'll be back in a bit. And we're back. Have we done it? We got one. Holy hell. That was friggin' solid. That was absolutely solid. What in the crap? You're getting called can't sleep. Won't sleep. <laughs> that was an absolute nightmare. Let's demolish this. Can you follow me? We went through... We'll, we'll put loads of meat on him. He's running at meat. Damn, 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 damn. Get the meat on him. Get the meat on him. We went through... 100... Two, what, 280... Narcotics there. That was ridiculous. Like, let's, let's see what the thing is then. You... Go there. Let's go. Right, in the hyperthermal is 210... So apparently it gives 8 to each, so if we go back, it should drop. Yes! So it's basically an aircon. It's an aircon dino. Which is awesome. Sweet! Come with me then. Let's get you up here. Right guys, I'm gonna go make some beer. <laughs> Let's see the beer. Where's the beer? A beer barrel. Crafted thatch. Water and berries. Let's learn beer and let's go check the smithy out and see what it takes to make it. I want to see what it does to you as well. Can you start and boost it does? Let's go have a little look. Can't sleep, won't sleep, I'll follow me up. Don't worry. Um, right. Beer. There we go. 500 wood. 100 cement and paste. It's a beer barrel, okay, and then you can add... Ah, oh, so you can add berry starch and water into the beer barrel, and it'll make you beer. That's a lot of cement and paste. I'm not sure if I want to use all that cement... I'm or going to use it. Where's Mammoth? Come here, Mammoth. Come on, Mammoth. Turn around. Come over here. I need your wood. I hope you've got 500 wood in you. You should have. One, two, no you don't. Great. Okay. Uh, I know who has. I know who has. Up here. Up here. Ronto's got 500 wood. 
per the one of the perks of always collecting berries on a Bronto is he gets buttloads of wood and thatch. Which is sweet. Right, let's get into you and then go auto. And we'll take wood. Two, three, four, five. Turn round and let's go make a beer barrel. I wonder what it takes to actually make the beer. I know it takes berries, I know it takes thatch and water, but I wonder how it's actually done. If You know, you know what I'm trying to say? And I know what I'm trying to say, but I'm sounding like a complete and utter numpty. Right, put that in there and that in there. Jump off. Can I move? Yes. Right, let's go make a beer barrel. There's can't sleep, won't sleep. You stay there. Two, three. Oh, 200 wood. Oh, we've got one and two. And then um, one and two. And then we've got a beer. Craft the beer barrel. How much XP will we get? We've got eight, one, eight, one, two, fifty. 250. So let's see what it gives us. 1250 up to 330, so it gives 110 XP. That's not bad. That is actually not bad. Now let's place this down here. Oh, it's small enough anyway. Place uh, right over here actually. You can make like a little brewery. So if you place that there now, not irrigated. Okay, so you put thatch, berries, and water in it. Can you move it once you place it? No. Damn. It's not irrigated, so you can have a water tap on it to irrigate it. Interesting. Oh man, I completely placed that in the wrong place. Damn it. Damn it. Okay guys, uh, I'll muck about with the... Okay, what we'll do, we'll muck about with that yesterday, but there's the beer bottle. It looks pretty sweet. We will demolish it, I'll make another one, and we'll put it over there, that's a lot of cement and paste I just lost. Damn it. But we are going to the Kitten Cave, we are going to look for some dung beetles. I need stim berries so I can make things poop. <laughs> I've seen a bit. Keep growing. Alright guys, we're back. I'm in the Kitten Cave. And I've got something to show you. Look! Dung beetle. There's a scorpion up there. I need to kill it. <laughs> Can I kill it? No battle music. Did I miss that twice? Really? Right, we need to go tame that. Dung beetle. Big time. This scorpion is not taking any damage. Right, anyway, we're going to ignore that. Let's take one of these. I forget... Small feces, I imagine it'll be in slot zero. And we can just creep up to him. Um, is that a passive team? Yes. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's quick. Right, get stem berries in you. Where's your stem berries? Get stem berries in, Saber. Poop, poop. Need at least two poops at you. There's one. There's two. Was it two? I think it was just one. There's three, right. Pick up poo. We creep up, can we? Yeah, we're just gonna sit here. Wild well, dung beetles, look at them, they're awesome. That is just a passive team with poop. That is very, very easy, which is awesome. As I said. Hey, come on. That scorpion's annoying me now. <laughs> Hopefully we can pick up with... We should be able to pick it up with the bird anyway. But yeah, this is a much easier team than its counterpart released. I mean, holy hell, that... In the Metropodon or whatever that's called was a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Well done, Beetle is perfect. We're caught to call him Poo Picker. Because that's hopefully what he's going to do. I've got a new design that I'm going to do for my poo bins. I think, and I'm going to try a Fomia just on Wander in a little fenced off area with him and on Wander in a little fenced off area. And I think that's what we're going to do. We just need to wait on. Even Jesus! It takes a while for them to eat. 
Wait, well, guys, I'll get this. I'll get this teamed up. And I'll I'm see a god on be all awesome guys. So what are we call them? Poopaka. Sweet. That is awesome. Can you just follow me? You can. Look at that. Oh, they are pretty epic. They are pretty epic. Let's get up off the floor. Let's go and kill that scorpion if we can. Or if we can't, it's not an issue. <laughs> we'll just leave the scorpion where it is. Look at a walk. Oh, they're slow. I'll give you that. They are slow. Well, I was right. They, were, they did spawn it in the caves. Which is good. Can we pick it? I wonder if we can pick it up. It's quite a small dino thing. Oh crap. Oh, I don't have anything on. E, access inventory. And turn fecal matter into oil and compost, but only when wandering. Fantastic. Come on, picker. We'll go up here with it. We'll get him outside. Pick him up with lightning and we'll get back to the base, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, we're back. I constructed a little pen here. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I don't know if he's picking up poo or if it's just disappearing through the foundation. That's some wood that I dropped. Um, right, let me see. Basically, the poo's coming out. I don't know whether we have to give him the poo or leave the poo for him to pick up. We've got him sitting here with the foam here. We're going to move it around a little bit, I think, so I've put some poo on him, like so. So we're going to give him some poo, and we're going to just let the foam of poo as well, and we'll see what happens. I mean, this is going to be pretty baller, I think. His weight is terrible. So we can only hold, like, three poos at a time. So I think you definitely do need a lot more. What I want to check though is if we took away that, would there be poo underneath? Because they're glitching a little bit through it. I may have to reconstruct the pen. In fact, I think next time what we'll do, we may do some testing on it. See what all happens. Maybe just do a little hexagonal pen with the fences and we'll see what happens. But anyway guys, I'm going to call it an episode. Remember, if you did enjoy it, hit that like button. If you've not subscribed already, remember and do so now. Smack it, smack the button, spread the word, tell your friends, and I shall see you next time. Cheers.